Hey there! Welcome to Clean Cut, and let's talk about the truth. This is where we can talk about life, reality, and anything else. There's just one rule. We have to use solid logic and common sense. Today, I thought we should talk about time. This is one of those things we need to know about if we want to understand the universe. It's an aspect of our existence that we all have to deal with. To start with, time isn't like space. It's a continuous series of moments, starting in one point and ending in another, like a line. For example, my body started in time when my DNA first became distinct at my conception, and it'll end when my DNA breaks down after death. Everything in the world has a beginning and an ending in time. Some last a very long time, like rocks, but others only last a very short time, like houseflies. The existence of time is a scientific fact, because we can prove it using scientific measurement, usually by looking at a watch or tapping your foot to determine how much time has passed. These simple experiments can be used to chart the passage of time, and prove the existence of things like minutes, seconds, hours, and so forth. Another curious aspect of things that pass through time is causality. Everything that passes through time has a beginning and an ending, and everything that has a beginning has a cause. For example, a chicken begins to exist when its egg is first fertilized and it develops its own pattern of DNA. It's caused by the hen and rooster. A clock begins to exist when it's assembled by a clockmaker, and its cause is the clockmaker. A planet begins to exist when it emerges from the flaming mass of a star, establishes a stable orbit, and solidifies. Its cause is the star. All of these things begin in time, and they all have causes. According to scientific study, at some point in the distant future, all of these things will end, breaking down further and further until they become just a formless mass of particles, growing more and more distant from each other. But before that happens, the sun will expand, swallowing the rest of the solar system in fire. Of course, none of that will happen for thousands of years. Now all of this gives us another question to ask. How old is the universe? And when did it begin? What was its cause? Does it need a cause? Hopefully I'll get to talk about all that next time. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.